Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I am pumped, I am excited. Lucas, I hope you are watching. We have the Lego EV3 red light, green light robot here. The reason I'm so pumped is Lucas and I, we had just a victorious moment of getting this thing built and the program was just, I believe it took me like 45 minutes to an hour to just copy. I'll leave you guys the link to the video of this robot, uh, but it was just it was just long of having to pause the video and to copy this program. It was very lengthy. I don't even know if I could duplicate that program. I'll just have you guys check the link, but it was pretty hard. I have the program. If you guys are running the old EV3 software, it, it should be very easy, but if you're running like Scratch or something, it's gonna be a little difficult to duplicate this. But I am just so proud of myself and Lucas for getting this thing to work. So today's video is about the EV3 red light, green light robot. If you want to see this thing, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so if you've ever played red light, green light, it's a really cool game. You guys remember if, you know, the person's looking at you. Or they have, you know, they say stop, you have to stop. And with this robot, if you are just the slightest bit off, you lose. And so I'm going to show you guys what, to, what this robot, you know, everything that's involved, how this program works. And I'm going to even show you my students playing this. So let's go to the table and take a look at this thing. Okay, guys, so there it is, the red light, green light robot here. So let me go ahead and just take you around this robot for those of you that would build this. Again, look in the link I have left you, well, in the description, I've left you a link to this robot. It has the build and the program. So if you guys don't know about the game, red light, green light, you're trying to get to this point here. This ultrasonic sensor is actually not even plugged in. So guys, don't even worry about plugging it in. When I run the program, you're gonna see how the, the head just swivels and you're gonna make sure you stop when it swivels back and looks at you. So this ultrasonic sensor is not detecting anything. These touch sensors are gonna be for player one and player two. They're just gonna be pressing it and that will move their person along the track. So it has two large motors. It has a medium motor that will swivel this. So when the ultrasonic sensor swivels around and it looks away, that's when your minifig will move along the track. And if you do not stop by the time it swivels back around, it will send your minifig flying along this conveyor belt and flies off and you lose. And if you are successful, I believe it's around right here, you will hear a cheering sound and your minifig wins. So let's go ahead and check out the program. Okay guys, because I don't have anybody to play with, I'll just do this as a one player. So you can see how the ultrasonic keeps rotating. So I'm gonna be using this one right here as soon as it looks away. Oh, do you see what just happened? So like I said, when this thing swings around, if you're still pressing it, even the slightest, it's gonna send your minifig off the conveyor belt. So let me try that again. Okay, so another thing that we learned is you have to start this program with it facing towards the minifigs. We actually accidentally started it when it was facing um, away and it actually did everything backwards and we're like, how come we keep losing when we press it because it was actually still looking at us. So here we go, let's try this again. And Mr. Hino, come on, be better. Ooh. Because I'm not trying to beat anybody, I'm just gonna slowly. Oh, I lost again. And there is my minifig on the table. Okay, I'm just gonna go real slow just so I can get, be guaranteed to win. I'm just going to press this like. Ah! 
Come on, Mr. Hino. Woo. I almost got caught. I'm not even taking any chances, guys. I'm almost there. I'm almost there, guys. Oh, I almost got caught. Yeah, Mr. Hino makes it. Oh. Wow, you guys. Go. What? Oh. <laughs> Go. Thanks, Sebastian. Oh, let's see if Richard can make it. I'm like anticipating. Just give me the password right here, look. Yeah, do it. Come on, Richard. Oh! Oh, Richard. I'm trying so hard. That was the quickest game ever. <laughs> you gotta be. Okay, so she has no competition, so she just she's just gonna inch her way up. Oh, you almost got caught. Okay, guys, so again, Lucas, big shout out to you. This program, again, if you guys want it, just hit me up, uh, Hino Lego Robotics at gmail.com, and I'll send it to you. Um, but it was just, it was a moment that I live for in robotics is when you can have a breakthrough and you never give up, you persevere, and it you get success. So really proud of you, Lucas proud of myself for this program it was hard to copy again um, just because when a program gets so lengthy and you have to be clicking on a lot of buttons you're doing my blocks and things like that it just gets lengthy but once it's done it's done so I'm really happy about that and hopefully you guys like any robot that's like a game so like we did with Simon it's just a really cool robot to have so hopefully you guys enjoyed it I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.